We don't need to go too far with this because it's already pretty good. There's just a few things we want to hide and a few things we kind of want to get rid of. As there's a couple of little Cocoa Pops here, I'm because her face is so flawless, I'm going to take the Cocoa Pops out. Um, so we're going to see if uh, Retouch for me is going to do it. So I'm going to run Retouch first before I do anything else. So there's, doesn't, there's not a huge amount that I'm going to do to this. So I just want to amplify some colors a little bit because I think the blue against the yellow and stuff looks, looks really good. I may add a couple of little sparkly sort of things in there a little bit. There is uh, a bit of stuff going on. Like I think it's a hand up here in the corner, which you'll get rid of. I'm going to amplify the blue, try to manage their skin tones a bit, make sure they're all nice and kind of darken the, the sides down a little bit. Uh, but I think that's pretty much all we're going to need to do because this is, I really like how this looks. So retouch for me is run and looking at the heel tool, uh, it's taken out Coco Pops for us. Good job. Um, skin tone. So we've lost like a fair bit of skin tone, um, like some of that nice red on her cheeks and stuff like that. So I like the colors, but I, we need the red and it's, it's just, it adds a bit of life to her. Because um, as you all remember, she was full of it, full of life. So let's um, let's add a bit of that back in. So I'm going to add a layer mask, skin tone, black brush to hide. I'm going to go to 50%, and I'm just going to paint in um, skin tone back because it was her skin tone was was quite flawless. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit back to him as well, especially around the ears, because if their ears are um, the same color as as the rest of their body it tends to look a little bit weird um, and I want to add just a little bit more red back into here as well cool all right there we go so that's that's looking pretty good dodge and burn yeah I'm cool with that mattifier there wasn't much just a little hot spot on her that's good Heel portrait volume is already looking like. Yeah, I'm I'm actually pretty cool with how this all looks, so I'm happy with that. Um, so again, I'm not sure who took this, um, but what I want to point out is that we're not focused on her eye. Um, she's because her face is is visible. She's the main person in this, and what's happened is we've hit focus on on. Mr. NPR's cheek here, so we don't want that. Um, whether you've whether the person is focused on his cheek or focused on his on her lip, uh, I'm not sure, but it's gonna be a challenge now to make her eyes sharp. So, what I think the best thing to do now is to actually soften the whole frame a bit. Um, that's probably gonna be the the best option. So, but first, let's go through. Um, we've done, you know, the the retouch stuff. Uh, what I want to do now is just check over the frame and, and just fix anything that stands out. So the first thing that stands out is this hand or whatever it is over in the corner. So I'm just going to patch tool that, which is Shift F5. See where the dust settles. Yeah, that's close enough. Looks a little bit shit, but um, we've always got the um, clone tool to fix stuff up which we'll do there. Um, not too concerned about this, it is quite bright, um, but we will darken that back a little bit. So, first thing I'm gonna do, um, so my actions is kind of set up in the way that I would run them, essentially. So, if you have actions and stuff like I do, um, I rely on them. So, if, if there's something you've gotta do more than once, write an action for it. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check image pop and see what happens here, because it might be too much. Um, Cool, that looks good. It's a little bit too much though, so I'm just gonna knock it back a little bit. Uh, it's got about 40%, cool. Looking good. Um, dodge and burn, so I wanna darken this stuff back here a little bit, darken in here, darken this bit, because it's a little bit distracting. Um, so I'm gonna use my dodge and burn for that. So we're gonna go burn first, uh, white brush, and I'm gonna put it on about 40% opacity. And then I'm just going to darken this back. 
So as you can see, his shoulder here and stuff is quite bright because the light's coming from, from sort of this way. And I, I don't want him to be the, you know, the main thing that you see. I want her face to be that. So I'm going to darken him back um, a little bit as well. Sorry, Mr. NPR, but you're getting darkened back. So um, I'm pretty pretty good with like how much that's been darkened back. So I'm bringing the blue back a little bit. Um, so this bit of decoration here at the front, we want to darken that back as well. So it's not as distracting. And this part up here of the window, darken that. Darken this part a little bit. Cool. So now you can see that her face is more the the focus point of this of this shot. So I'm cool with that. So now I'm going to go to dodge and I'm just going to lighten her face just a little bit. Oh, wrong button. Oh, that's too much. So we're going to go to about 20%. There we go. So now that's lightened her face up and I'm just going to lighten a little bit of her dress as well because we're sacrificing King for the Queen although our focus hasn't quite matched that sentiment. Um, I'm just going to brighten up a few of the little sparkly bits and then we're done. Cool, so now I'm going to go this image soften um, from Marcus Bell because I know it's going to amplify colours and it's going to soften everything. So I'm going to run that. Boom. So see how it's darkened things down a little bit and it's given it way more contrast and it's kind of got that vogue sort of look to a degree. But what it's also done is it smashed the skin tones and they look a bit too hot and a bit too dark. So we need to fix that. So black brush, um, 50%. I'm okay with him being a bit dark because we're sacrificing the king for the queen, as I said. So I'm just going to take a bit off him. Um, take a little bit off her and a little bit off her shoulder and off her dress because we want this bit of the dress to be sharp because I think if we zoom in it's razor sharp um, so there you go guys there's the difference in in focal length or in in plane um, you know this part of her dress where her boob is is probably only an inch or two in front of where her nose and where her eyes are but still like it's it's out of focus um, so just bear that in mind especially at 2.8 for for those of you that like going into the ones that's for you um, so I'm just taking off a little bit more just to bring skin tones back and cool so what you'll find that that's done is it's kind of darkened the shadows a little bit, it's amplified the blue a little bit, um, and I kind of really like how that looks. It looks it looks expensive, and that's what you want things to look like. So I'm gonna flatten that. Um, because we've softened everything, uh, it is gonna be a bit of a challenge to, to sharpen her eyes now, or to sharpen things, but I'm still gonna go a bit of selective sharpen, and I'm only gonna do it on her, because he's already sharp enough. Um, but I kind of wanna, you know, bring out her, her eyebrows and stuff as best as I can. So, um, again, my sharpening action, there's a lot out there. Have a look around for what works for you. And what I'm going to do is 50, oh, I'm going to go to 50% and I'm going to sharpen her hair here. It's not going to do a lot. All right. Because it's, it is a little bit out of focus. Um, I'm going to sharpen her lips. And I'm going to try and sharpen her eyes. So with her eyes, I'm going to go to 100. I don't normally go to 100, but I kind of want to try and get them as good as I can. There we go. And so with her dress, that's already pretty sharp. I kind of don't really want to make it too much sharper, but I do want to amplify it a little bit. So I'm just going to go just like 30% on the dress. Um, might just go a little bit on on the front of his hair and his eye. Um, and that's about it. Like that's as far as we kind of need to go or we should go. Um, everything else, I'm, I'm happy to leave. Um, so again, flatten that. Now, I love all these little sparklies and stuff here, but it kind of looks a bit dark in this area. And there would, 
you know, there would be more in here in this dark area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, minimize that. And we're going to go to my overlays bundle. And I've got wedding bokeh overlays. But we want to make sure that whatever we choose kind of goes with um, what's what's here as well. You don't want to go with something like this um, and it'd be too much and it look not real and stuff like that. Um, if you're going to do this, we need to kind of make sure that it looks real and it looks plausible, um, which means you don't go overboard. So I would say one of these two would probably be a good option for where we want to put it. So I'm going to grab both and I'm going to drop them in there. Cool. So these are a little bit darker. So I'm not 100% sure on that one. They're a little bit darker too. They're a little bit... Mm, do you know what? I reckon this one might be the go, but we're just going to have to lighten things up a little bit. So I'm going to go to Levels, um, and I'm going to lighten... Um, I don't want to lighten the black because I need the black to use uh, as a screen overlay. There we go. That kind of matches the colors that we've got. Um, yeah. So now I need to match the size to a degree because these are much bigger than these ones. So I'm going to reduce it down to about, about that size. Cool. And now see these are very sharp at the edges, whereas these ones aren't. So again, we need to make it look like it's supposed to be there so I'm going to go to blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur them so that they look similar to the ones that are there that looks about right cool and then I'm going to go to screen overlay and then we're going to bring those in here so they're a little bit big so I'm going to reduce them down a little bit And they are like they 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 are a little bit close together, um, but because we need the size to be right, like I, I kind of um, I can't make them bigger or spread them out more. So all I'm going to do is because it is an overlay, um, I'm just going to grab my eraser and I'm just going to erase this part. Um, there back to my eraser rub that out okay so if we hide this um, we've got a little bit there we go cool so there we go that looks completely plausible um, we might just reduce the opacity a little bit cool right so this one so I still want something up here so what we might do is do exactly the same thing as what we did with these ones um, or else actually you know I might use those ones again so I'm going to delete that I'm going to go back to here I'm going to duplicate this layer um, I'm going to drag it up here I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger and I'm going to change it so that they're not quite round. I'm going to turn it. Um, I'm going to turn it that way, and then I'm going to flip it horizontal so that it just it looks different to to down below. Like if you're really going to look hard at it, you might be able to see that it's the same, but you'd have to you'd have to kind of really really look. And we want to put these in the shadow section. You don't want to put it in the light section because if it's in the light section, then it's not it's not on anything. Like it's it's not plausible. It's just floating in the air, which is not real. Um, so I'm just going to reduce that in size a little bit. I'm going to rotate it a little bit so it's a little bit harder to pick to put them together. Cool. 
and then all I'm going to do is grab my eraser again and I'm going to rub out these ones that are cut off because we don't want them. Um, let's check. Yep, that's good. And with these, we'll brighten them up a little bit. Cool. So, and then that one, don't need that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these, I'm going to merge them together, um, go back to screen mode, and I'm pretty happy with that. Like that's flatten image. Um, I think we're good. We we kind of don't really need to do too much more to this one because we've got some nice little sparkles here. We've added a few. They look sort of real. What I might just do is um, brighten them up just a little bit because they look a little bit dark. There we go. That's good. Um, there we go. I'm pretty happy with how that all looks. What I am gonna do now is just to sort of darken this back and draw more attention to her face. Um, just gonna go random vignette, and then we're gonna darken around here, leave this part. Um, I wanna darken this white section here as well. Leave a bit of the blue, and that's gonna be us. So if I hit play, It'll darken everything around it and really draw your eye back to her. And this is a luminosity layer. Um, so it's only affecting the luminosity, not the color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it back a little bit and I'm gonna get my eraser. And I'm just gonna rub it over her face just to make sure we've got nothing on her face. Rub off just a couple of these. And then we're done. Flatten. Don't need to soften her skin because the focus was slightly off her skin already looks soft so there's nothing really we need to do there um, i've got a slight um, what i call a fifth, an image corrector which just adds a tiny bit of contrast and stuff to it i'm just going to play it see what it does just brightens it up a little bit um, but what i am seeing now is that his skin tone and stuff it's a little bit warm as in temperature warm so I've got a couple of actions here. I just want to, I'm going to run a slight, uh, I've got to cool it down, which is going to cool it down a lot and see how you lose her skin tone there now. Um, but it does make the blues more blue, which we kind of want, but it does kill their skin tone a bit. So um, what I'm going to do is black brush, set it on about 50%. I'm going to leave the blues. Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm probably going to leave just the blue areas uh, and I'm going to rub out pretty much everything else. So I'm going to go to 100% first and I'm going to rub out all the way around so that all the colour here comes back. On her dress as well. Alright, so we've got all the colour back in all the little sparkles and stuff, which, which we want. Alright, so now I'm going to go to 50% to rub back their skin. So we don't need a lot on him, but I'm just gonna bring a bit of color back on him and I'm gonna bring more back on her. There we go. So that is pretty much, I think, see how it's, it's cooled things off a little bit. It's made his jacket look more the color that it was. It's amplified the blues. Um, I like how that looks. So we've gone from that to that. So we're really drawing the attention to her face in the center. Um, you know, we're, we're hiding a lot of stuff, darkening things back, but essentially all we're doing is, is drawing your eye to the middle. Um, when I go back to this one, see how it's, you, there's not a huge amount of contrast in it. it. Like it looks a little bit flat to a degree, but with this one, it's looking very contrasty. Um, so I'm almost looking at it now going, you know what, that looks a little bit too contrasty. So I'm going to go make a layer, go to adjustments, and I'm going to pull out contrast. So see how I pull out contrast, everything changes. Add too much and it looks just messy. So I want to take out contrast just so that you can see like his hair. Because when, when we're back here, it's a lot of darkness there and you don't see a lot of his hair. Um, so I'm going to bring it back 
just so we can see his hair it's about there so it's, it's only a subtle difference but you can still it brings back detail but then what we're going to do is add a mask and I'm just going to black brush remove the mask 100% just on her face so that her face is the most contrasting part or her face and her chest um, so that's going to be the most contrasting part of the frame so that's where your eye is going to go flatten and we're done that's that's it that's as far as I go with something like that and that's beautiful that would go in their album that would go on their wall um, well, maybe not on their wall because the, the focus is a little bit off but um, beautiful shot looks lovely on on the screen and if you see it on Insta or something like that it's it's gonna look beautiful so um, I'm cool with that we're gonna save it and we're done